Okay, uh, let's talk bumpers. In my last video, I showed you some suspension mods that you can do. Well, I would venture that anybody could probably do them with basic hand tools. But when it comes to uh, making your own bumpers, you're going to need some, uh, some more specialized tools, grinders, welders. Um, to build this bumper, you would basically need a shop full of tools. You know, pretty extensive stuff. However, I'm going to go over it anyways. Uh, if you're looking at the video, you probably realize how crappy Cherokee bumpers are. They're, they're essentially just formed sheet metal. Um, really insufficient for off-roading. Barely enough to, to be on, on the road. Uh, they're just formed 16 gauge. There's not a whole lot to them. So I took those off in lieu of some bumpers that I built at my shop. Uh, this one here. The center section you see there is uh, three by six by quarter wall box tubing, and then the the corner protection here is three by three by quarter inch tubing. And uh, how I made square tubing round was I figured out the inside radius and the outside radius. I took the difference of the two, uh, factoring in the amount of degrees. This is 80 degrees I believe this curve 75 or 80 and using a pretty simple math formula I cut out pies all around here removing the inside material and then bending this around and re-welding it back together to create that curve so that's not something your average shade tree mechanic is going to be able to do however I think it gives a pretty cool and unique look to this bumper uh, I went, I actually prefer the look of the stubbies, but I went with this because I smashed a tree with my factory XJ bumper that I cut down into a stubby, and I smacked a tree right by the headlight and fucked up one of the header panels, so I was going to make that mistake again. So what I've done here is, you know, you can see it's it's got fairly good ground clearance. Uh, I didn't make it able to support a winch. Um, I actually found some threads on some forums that suggest it's possible to tuck the winch in behind it. So when I do get my 8,000 pound winch, I'm going to give that a try. So off the center section here, uh, I cut out these these lugs for um, extraction points. These are uh, one inch plate. I drilled a one inch hole in them using a big drill press and a reamer. And then, I don't know if you can see the welds very good, it's cloudy out. I welded those on with a big heavy duty dual shield machine, 200 amps, they're solid as a rock. <clears throat> the important thing when building your bumper is the tie-ins. So you can see that there. So as you can see, let's get a better angle. As you can see, you got those three bolts there. And then if I go further back, I have one more right here. Now, my 96 Cherokee Classic came with a package that had the extraction hooks. So my brackets came all the way to the back. Most Cherokees just have a little janky bracket that just uh, bolts here with the three bolts. For strength reasons, because it's unibody, you want to take it as far back as possible. And I'm actually intent on adding another series of holes here eventually when I get my winch on. So that's quarter plate. Uh, I made a cardboard template, cut it out, and uh, welded it on there. It's plenty strong. So if you got a fairly stocked up shop of tools, you can, you can make some pretty cool bumpers for the front. And uh, yeah, basically anything's better than the factory bumpers. They are, they're garbage. With the back, I saw a picture online of a bumper I thought was pretty cool, but it was like 900 bucks, and it was formed, quarter inch plate, that kinda looked like it was meant to be there. A lot of these off-road bumpers look like they don't belong on the vehicle. Now obviously, if you watch my videos, you realize I'm not gonna spend 900 bucks on anything, let alone a bumper. So what I did was, based off that picture the design just kind of looked like it so what I did here was if I go to the 
the side you'll be able to see better. If we're looking at it from here, this is actually two by six box tube, quarter inch wall. And then the piece you see here is actually two by two sandwiched together. So two by six and two by two. You can actually see where I bonded that to fill in that void because I didn't want to weld it, I want to warp it. And then all the sheet metal pieces, this is actually like 316 sheet metal I covered it with to smooth it out. And I capped the ends. And this is also 316 that I built up. So it kind of fills in that void that would be between the bumper and the uh, tail light. So this is a super strong design. And I, I just went with the 2x6 and the 2x2 because it's what I had laying around. And then I used the original uh, mounting holes, which are kind of a bitch to get to. I try and show you in the video, but you wouldn't even be able to see them. If you got a Cherokee, you take off your rear bumper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The one thing I did a little bit differently is I, uh, I recessed in my hitch. So you can see there, I actually built the hitch in as part of the bumper. So if I was to take this out, it's really nice and tucked and tied away. The important thing you got to do with the rear bumper that I, I kind of did a little bit, but I need to make it even bigger and more aggressive, is you need to tie it in like as if it was a, uh, a hitch. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I put these in because I had to tow something. So I tied the, oh shit, I lost a bolt. I, I made these little channels out of 10 gauge that I put in with the existing uh, nut certs for the, if you have a tow package with a, uh, a receiver hitch. And then I um, drilled and tapped them into the bumper itself. It's a good idea. It worked well so far. I just need to make them more heavy duty. They definitely need to be bigger. I'm going to remove this skid pan right here and take them even further back so that they're as heavy duty as possible. If you were to buy these two bumpers, <clears throat> it would be about $1,500. And I've got about 100 bucks invested in scrap material that I get uh, from the shop I work at. I get it at a discounted rate, obviously. It's material that's left over after a job. But uh, this would be the bare minimum as far as bumpers would go. Um, they have some more extensive ones that you could buy. You can even now buy kits where they just give you all the components not welded together. And then you can weld them together yourself, which is a viable option since a lot of people have a hard time cutting steel, even if they have a welder. Thanks for watching.